Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing about what is mental health nursing and the qualities a psychiatric nurse should possess. According to American Nurses Association 1994, mental health nursing is a specialized area of nursing practice employing theories of human behavior as it is a science and the purposeful use of self as it is an art in the diagnosis and treatment of human responses to actual or potential mental health problems. So basically a psychiatric nurse deals with the promotion of mental health, prevention of mental illness, care and rehabilitation of mentally ill both in a hospital and community. Now there are certain set of qualities a psychiatric nurse should possess while working in a psychiatric healthcare setting. One is self-awareness. So a psychiatric nurse should have a realistic self-concept and should be able to recognize her own feelings, fantasies and fears. She should also be able to analyze her own professional strengths and limitations. So this ability of her to be aware and accept her own strengths and limitations will help her to see the strengths and limitations in other people too. Also, it is very important to understand that until a nurse is able to cope with the personal fears and anxieties in relation to psychiatric nursing, it is unlikely that she can have a therapeutic influence in the patient's environment. So it is always important for a nurse to be self-aware. Next is self-acceptance. So a nurse should not only be aware, but also she should accept her strengths as well as limitations. So self-understanding basically helps her to be assertive in life situations without being aggressive and feeling guilty. Third is to accept the patient. So accepting basically means to be non-judgmental. So a nurse should accept the patient as he is, as a sick person, regardless of caste, color, race or behavior. So the ability to talk therapeutically with the patients requires an attitude of acceptance, tolerance and genuine interest in the patient. So this all will help in implying that the nurse treats the patient as an important person and not as a set of psychiatric symptoms. Fourth is to being sincerely interested in patient care. This basically means that we consider the patient's interest. So there are several ways in which we can demonstrate our interest in patient care. Being aware of the patient's likes and dislikes, being honest with the patient, or being an active listener, all will help in showing our genuine interest in patient. Being available. So being available means that the nurse should be approachable to the patient at all times. So she should be able to convey to the patient that she is available not only to meet his or her physical needs, but also to assist the patient in dealing with his or her psychological needs too. Empathizing with a patient. So empathy is an important tool in understanding other person's feelings. So empathy is basically wherein we be in other person's shoes and understand what the other patient goes through or experiences. And then later on, we must step back and analyze the situation. So it isn't necessary that the nurse should experience it actually to understand what the patient is experiencing. So to empathize with the patient, a nurse must be willing to get involved enough to feel what the other person feels. And at the same time, avoid over-involvement, rejection of one's own feelings and over in identification. Next is to be reliable. So a nurse must demonstrate qualities of honesty, truthfulness, sourcefulness, etc. while dealing with the patient and her family. Therein she proves herself to be trustworthy as a person who can be relied upon on any situation. Eighth one is to be professional. So basically a psychiatric nurse develops a professional skill by understanding about the patient, his illness, and the helping role of the nurse as it specifically applies to the patient. Ninth one is accountability. So according to Peplow, the need for personal accountability and pers professional integrity are greater in psychiatric practice than in any other type of healthcare. 
So why this is because patients in mental health care are basically more vulnerable and defenseless when compared to other patients. So mental health nurses are accountable for the nature of the effort they make on behalf of patients and answerable to patients for the quality of their efforts. The last one is the ability to think critically. So it is very crucial for a mental health nurse. A critical thinker basically analyzes the information before drawing conclusions about it. So this is very helpful in driving problem solving and decision making and it basically aims to make judgments based on evidence. So this was all about mental health nursing. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.